Onika. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos that we post. So pretty much in this video, I'm going to be doing a mini Hollister haul. Most of these clothes are like more winter clothes. Um, so it's going to be like a pre-winter Hollister haul. So I went ahead and ordered this stuff like months back when I was like pregnant because honestly like the best thing, this is always a good shopping tip to remember, um, is best to buy winter clothes in the summertime because for one, they're going to be cheaper. And two, the same style is going to be the style that there's like going on clearance where it's going to be used again for winter, that the, the following winter. The style of the, the trends won't change until like maybe two more seasons. Like, you know, it'll be like, let's say it's this December. So then we'll have these style of uh, winter clothes and then we'll have it again maybe next year. And then they'll start to do something new in the following year. So with that being said, I am just gonna show you a couple of items that I've ordered. Cause obviously I can't shop in store cause of Corona. And plus the hostel that we have here, which breaks my heart cause I used to work there, is no longer here. So I have to order all of my things offline and get them shipped, which I kind of hate because most stores have started this thing where you can order online and pick up in store. And that saves you shipping. Cause I hate, 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 hate paying for shipping. Like if my total could be like, I try not to spend like more like the 40 to 50 dollars when I'm shopping online. But if my total is like 40 bucks and then they talk about oh shipping is $7.99, I can't even get the order no more because it just ruined it. Like I can't do it. So um yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a few of the items that I've ordered. So um let's just go ahead and just get into this video. So the first thing that I'm talking about. I want to get into is my this mid-rise super skinny jean and it's a classic stretch now my biggest thing was uh, my whole reason i'm ordering so many jeans because that's what mainly this haul is is just jeans i figured okay i'm gonna get a little thicker a little chunkier since the baby and i gained a whole bunch of weight when i was pregnant but i'm kind of i'm pretty much back to normal i just got like a little bit of extra so i can fit my jeans still pretty much it's just it was time to get more jeans and kind of an excuse to buy more jeans anyway so um yeah these are mid-rise now i never really had a mid a mid a mid-rise jean before but i wanted to try these because when i went through all my old jeans i noticed i had so many low rise jeans and i was putting those jeans on and I was just, and remind you, it was like a week after postpartum baby. And of course, you know, everything wasn't right back how it's supposed to be. But still, those low, uh, low rise jeans were not, they wouldn't even come past my thigh. And the ones that would come past my thigh, they was like just sitting, like, just sitting weird. You know, it was, it was stupid. Like, it wasn't right. So, I would never buy low rise jeans again. I do not recommend, like, do not recommend low rise jeans. So, after that whole fiasco, I was like, well, let me try mid-rise because I don't want all my jeans to be high-rise. Don't get me wrong, I love high-rise. After this pair, like most of the other jeans I show you are high-rise. But um, I tried these mid-rise jeans and when I first put them on, let me show you. So these are, like I said, these are the mid-rise super skinny Hollister Classic in a size three long. All my jeans have to be long because I am a long girl. And I can't, I can't do that high water stuff. So, unless I'm like, you know, unless I want to roll my the bottom of my jeans to make it look like cute or whatever. But other than that, I need my jeans to be like touching the ground pretty much. But um, yeah, I got them in a size three long. So in Hollister, their their sizes are go by like odd numbers. I know like some places I think American Eagles jeans they do even numbers. So it'd be like zero two four six eight. But Hollister is zero one three five seven so on so forth. So they are a three long and in the waist, that's actually a 26 waist. And then the length is a 32. Now I would prefer like a 33, 34. The only jean place that I know can actually do 34 or that I've actually got like a 34 from was Levi. And of course Levi, there's like, that's the jean central. And of course they're gonna be able to bring them that long. Now, um, I don't think Hollister 
goes past 32 is lengthwise so i don't know but i always get this length and um yeah so this is just a little tag of what it is the mid-rise super skinny whatever and these jeans on a regular day basis are $59.95 now that's 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 okay for a jean because these jeans to me are worth it but um imagine living in canada because the canada price is 64.95 and i just couldn't do that like that's crazy but usually when i do get jeans from houses they're always on sale so um my receipt that i'm looking at these jeans like i said are originally priced 60 dollars but when i ordered them they were 15.99 so i mean you can't beat that that's another reason i probably had to get these jeans that's that's probably the main reason i got these jeans because they had that super sale on them so yeah they were 15.99 and um you know what they look like they are a destroyed mid wash so they're like mid dark they're not super dark and they're not light but they're like mid so they're in the middle and they're like that or whatever and like i said i'm gonna try them on but when i um uh, i'm gonna try them on so you guys can see them but last time i did try them when i first got them and tried them on they were a little tight for them to be a, a medium dark wash they were kind of tight because you know i think the darker the jean the tighter it feels that's what I think. I guess it's just something in the material that they have when it comes to the dark jeans. But these were kind of surprisingly tight. They fit pretty good, but they, they I was expecting them to be a little looser. So that's that. All right, guys. So the next one, the next pair of jeans that we're going to talk about are the Kirby High Rise Jeggings. Now, Hollis, I think maybe a year or two ago, they wanted everyone to feel included and equal so they started a fit called curvy now like i said i don't have much curve but like i said figuring since after being pregnant that i was gonna have a little bit more curve which is a little bit just a teeny tiny bit um that you know why not go ahead and give these jeans a try because the biggest thing on i think is they talk about the gapping that some people have in between their jeans and their back and all that crazy weird stuff so they they made a jean to eliminate that so i just thought kirby was like shoot they gonna make me kirby so let me try to get a pair so i went ahead and got a pair of kirby high rise jean legging so it's kind of looking at them when i first looked at them i thought oh my gosh these jeans are extremely well let me also say this these are a three long as well like the previous jeans and they're 26 waist but the length is 30 which is kind of, because like I said, I want to be 32, 34 in length. But with these, I'll more than likely like roll them or something to make it look cuffed. Or these are probably more my winter jeans when I just have on boots. Because they're going to be high waisted anyway. So most of the time, I'm going to have on boots with these. But when I first looked at them, I thought, oh my gosh, they look so, the waist looks so small. But it looks so small when you first get it. But once you put it on, it's just like it stretches. It literally like fits your body. It's formed to fit your body. And it just hugs it all. It just hugs it right. So um, these jeans are really, these jeans look really good on. I tried them when I first time I tried them on. And I was just like in love when I had walked around the room a couple of times just to keep looking at them. Because not only do they feel so comfortable, but my little butt, it make it like pop a little bit. So it's cute. It's really cute. And I think the pockets... The pockets did some justice of that too because Hollister jeans, some of them are kind of known for the pocket being placed weird on your butt. So I um, really like the fact that they kind of thought about that when they made these Kirby jeans because it's kind of like the pocket is on the right spot to make everything look good and pop. So I really like these jeans. The only downfall is I wish the length was a little bit longer these jeans were originally 54.95 so that's 55 dollars. but the sale queen which is me got them on sale for 29 dollars. so that's not bad and like i said um i don't buy jeans unless they're on sale because i can't i can't do that especially if i buy if i bought multiple and then this first order was like multiple jeans so yeah these were 29 dollars and let's see the next okay so the next jean is um called curvy ultra high rise mom jean now i only had like one pair 
yeah one pair of mom jeans from hollister so after having this baby i was like okay well i'm a super mom now so of course i got another pair of mom jeans so um these are what they look like they're super cute they're a light wash um these are also a size three long 26 waist 29 um length now i'm gonna take what i said back now i know i sound like my length could be touching the floor but when it comes to mom jeans or like boyfriend fit jeans even though i really don't like boyfriend fit jeans maybe i just haven't found the right pair but mom jeans I, they're meant to be a little bit more baggier i think so those don't have to go all the way to the floor those can because i'm gonna really cuff those anyway to kind of look at make it look like old school time so um yeah these can be whatever length because they're fine but um these are all and like i said old school times these are also the hollister vintage stretch so i don't know if you can see it but yeah um these are a light wash light destroy they're destroyed obviously because of all the holes in them and i've worn these already before i think i wore i don't know where i wore them out to but they fit really good um they come up to like probably about here yeah they come up pretty high which i like because you know i just want to hide some things or whatever so um they're super cute super comfortable and i believe these were originally oh, i wish i didn't rip the tags off of them i want to say these were either between 54 95 and 59 95 but i got them for 20 bucks and then like i said it's one of the newer styles so of course they're gonna be kind of taxing on the newer styles but i got them for 20 bucks and they fit really good they feel they feel in a way like vintage like how they used to make jeans back in the day like actually with the good material than what they make them now out of like out of paper because people's jeans be ripping so easy but um these feel so good and i really like the colors nice little springy light wash color and these fit really good so um i don't think i have a picture in them so these are probably another pair that i'm gonna have to try on for you guys so you can see how they fit but they feel really good so the next jean that we are going to get into are or is um we're gonna switch them out is this pair here and these are black oh now let's get let's talk about black jeans for a second I've always been so scared of black jeans because you wash them one time, they fade away. Now, I've looked up how to keep jeans black, how to keep them, you know, how not to fade them away. I've heard, you know, wash them in cold water, turn them inside out, wash them in cold water, don't put them in the dryer, let them air dry. I've even heard just not dry them. I mean, just not wash them, period. And I, I can't do that. I can't just not wash my jeans. So, um, just comment below. If you know some ways not to phase your jeans because what i've been doing is just washing them like in cold water and just letting them air dry but i kind of feel like if i do that they kind of get like ashy and they feel so stiff but these are um the curvy ultra high rise super skinny and this is in the hollister classic stretch these are a size three long and they're in the 26 waist and 32 length. So these are really, really good. I love these because they're long, they're black, and they just, they fit me so good. Now, I honestly, I think I have a picture in one of the, in, in this pair, but I don't think you can see the jeans all the way. So I'm gonna have to put them on so y'all can see them. But yeah, these are a uh, dark or black destroyed. Um, I really, I'm not even a holy person. I don't, oh, that sounded bad. I don't like holes in jeans because for one, I think in school they kind of ruined the fact that you can't wear holes in your jeans because you have to wear something under it or you have to put tape over it. And after all that, you just don't want to wear them no more. But the more order I got, I was like, okay, I kind of like these more for the summertime if I want to wear jeans but still kind of show a little skin. Um, I have the holes in them. But the only downfall about having holes in your jeans is when you're kind of putting them on and then you snag your foot or your toe in them and you're about to break your neck trying to put them on. So you just gotta kind of put them on slow and kind of ease them on. So these are also one of the newer types of jeans because they're curvy. So I believe these also were originally like 50, what did it say? Like 
Y'all won't believe how much I got these jeans for. I got these jeans for ten dollars and twenty eight cent. Let me just show y'all if y'all can see. Ooh, you might not be able to see it. Well, I'm just gonna let you know. I got them for ten dollars. I could not beat that. Jeans are is another light wash jean, and it's just a regular simple jean. These are called the High Rise Super Skinny Jean, and these are the Hollister Classic Stretch. Um, these are also a three long. They are 26 waist and 32 length, which is perfect for me. Um, I feel like every person needs a light wash colored jean because they look really good with like white shirts and like gray shirts. So, um, yeah, these are just super light, no holes or anything. They're really soft. They feel really good. When I tried these on, they fit like a glove too. Um, yeah so these since they are they're just regular they're not curvy or anything so these jeans were probably originally priced i want to say maybe 54.95 but i got them for like 20 dollars. i can't i can't be sure about that i might have got them for cheaper but i believe they were 20 dollars or less <laughs> so yeah um like i said you'll see a little video or picture of me in them and yeah so now since all the jeans are finally done let's talk about some of the tops that i got so i got this top here it's like super 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 cute i love the color it's going to be perfect for the winter this shirt is super soft um it was called the cozy waffle legging t-shirt so when it comes to like sweaters and long sleeves I like to kind of get them oversized so usually I would probably would have got this in a small but like I said I like I don't want I don't like things that are super skin tight anymore unless it's like I'm wearing like high wax or something and it's like crop like kind of like this situation I have going on right now but um it's super soft and it has like a little waffle um print on there and this shirt was originally $24.95, I got it for $11.29, which is a super deal. And I think that's like a really good deal for the quality of the shirt because it's not like a thin shirt. I mean, since it gets kind of cold down here in the winter, you probably might want to put, I might like put a shirt on under it. But if I don't, I won't be freezing to death. So yeah, that's this. And the color, did I say the color? It says dark pink. But to me, it kind of looks like a coral or is coral lighter than this? I don't know, but that's this shirt super cute um the next shirt is now <laughs> i i got this shirt in two other colors i would have got it in three different colors or excuse me four different colors the burgundy and i love burgundy if, if you know me you know my winter time color really my any time of the year color is burgundy like i love burgundy it goes with you can you can pair it with a bunch of different colors like burgundy and navy burgundy and gold burgundy and black you can do a bunch of burgundy and it just looks good on my skin too but um this shirt here is it's kind of like a a mini turtleneck the shirt's name is called texture mock neck top um and it's in gray and i got it in a medium um like i said i don't like things super skin tight anymore and also, I kind of get mediums for my length, the length in the arm. Like I said, I'm a long girl, so I have to have some length. And the sleeves, they feel like they're going to fit like it. Now, this is one of the things I haven't tried on, along with that pink shirt over there. So, for you guys, I'm going to put it on so you can see how it fits. But, um, yeah, this shirt is pretty, it's pretty thick. And I'm surprised because how this stuff is like kind of thin and loose and um not worth nothing the shirts honestly they're like not worth nothing but this is thick and it's gonna probably keep me warm so um this shirt was originally let me see the tag is caught up in here this shirt what does it say 24 yeah that says 24 let's see yeah so this shirt was originally $24.95 but I got it for six dollars like oh my gosh you cannot beat that so I have it in gray. <laughs> I have it in black. You can all you can never go wrong with having like a black kind of turtleneck. Just a black shirt, period, that you can dress up, dress down, and everything. 
and I also have it in it says white on the tag and on camera it'll probably look white especially with this light but in person to me it's more of a cream or a beige so I was also really happy about that because I have like tons of white shirts already and I need this kind of color in my color wardrobe and it's super cute I can't wait to wear it with like maybe some black or maybe taupey kind of thigh high boots in the winter time with one of those high waisted jeans like i'm really excited for the winter like oh my goodness the last thing on this haul is going to be this super super oh my gosh like guys if you could just feel how soft this um zip up is it is so soft like oh my gosh you could probably just see how soft it is from the camera um, I don't think I tried this on when I first got it. I probably should have, but it's so soft. So this is called the Cozy Half Zip uh, Sweatshirt. And honestly, I usually never like sweatshirts because you got to put them over your head and mess up your hair. But it's just the style of it and how it fits. And also the plus, it had pockets. So I had to get it. I had to get it. Now also, this is also oversized because... For one, it's going to be worn in the winter time, so of course you want it to be oversized to keep you warm. So yeah, and it's super soft. Um, This thing, oh, the tag is gone. Oh, it's right here. That's right. It fell off. It's originally $49.95, y'all. $49.95 for this thing, which is about right, especially when it first came out in the um, Hollister, I guess, maybe last year uh, winter set. I got it for... If you didn't hear me i said i got it for seven freaking dollars like you cannot beat this stuff it's super good quality it feels freaking amazing and i'm just so excited to wear it like i'm so ready to wear this thing you guys just don't know almost almost forgot before i closed out this video that i got these lovely like yoga pants they're called the dream worthy dream worthy rib flare pants now when i first saw these like they were like a new arrival maybe like last season i'm not sure though maybe earlier this season and they fit they look so good on the model who had them on i was like i have to get these not only because of the color and their ribs so they kind of will fit on your legs on your booty real cute like and they're flared so they'll be long enough i always wanted some yoga pants kind of like from um Victoria's Secret but I could never find any that would be like a long length so these are perfect and I can't honestly remember how much originally they were they had been between like 30 and 40 dollars but I got them for 13 and I've worn them already. I think I have worn them in one of our previous videos so um you guys you'll see it again or whatever but um that's pretty much it for all of the haul that I had got in everything I ordered um I used to, I, I wanted to do the Hollister haul because I, I honestly really like Hollister. I know a lot of people are like, ew, Hollister, why you wear that type of stuff? I used to work there in my teenage years, and I, that's when I like, absolutely fell in love with the brand. Um, it was, well, one, it was my first job, and I fell in love with the brand. I, it really was just a great experience. It, it kind of just started because, like, my manager at the time, when I first, first got there, because the whole time I had been working there, we had at least like six, seven different managers coming in and out. But my first manager, she was always so sweet. And she just made working really fun. And I learned so much from working. And I worked all the time. And I had two jobs at the time. But that was more of my favorite place to work because I felt like I could be more of myself. And it was easier to talk to people. And it kind of made me a little bit more confident. Um... I just, you know, I, I I like the brand, you know, I've always, I've always, of course, wanted to go to California, and it was kind of cool having a store like that here that kind of made me feel like, okay, this is a little piece of California, I'm in California right now, and it was just a really cool experience, and like I said, I always fell in, I fell in love with the brand, I always liked the clothes, and I just had to do this haul to kind of show appreciation and you know to show you that it is stuff there that can fit you if you don't think you can fit things there and it was just a really super it was a cute little my first haul first off that's my first haul i've ever done so um make sure you comment below to tell me how you think i did and if you liked it and if you think i should do any other type of hauls um i want to do a few more little things like that but i'm not sure on this channel because it's kind of more family oriented and the kids and stuff 
but every once in a while i might throw in a couple more videos like this so um that's pretty much it guys thank you for staying tuned and like i said before if you are new go ahead and subscribe and make sure you turn on the post notifications bell so you don't miss anything that